Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What is good? I hope that all of you guys are doing amazing. So, you guys, the song I heard before I started the video was Destiny's Child, Say My Name. Say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you if you ain't running game. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady and calling me baby by the sudden change. So, all right. So that just within itself is letting me know that you guys, the person that you are here um, about tonight, all right, the person that's in your heart, um, the person that you are in no communication with, I do feel like there is an energy of no communication surrounding you and this person. There is someone around this person. Because she said, it's no, if no one is around you, say, baby, I love you if you ain't running game. So it's somebody around this person. Yeah, trouble coming out of the frying pan. Wow, trouble coming Trouble coming out of the frying pan into the fire. Lack of progress. <laughs> so this person got themselves caught up in a situation with the karmic energy. It's been nothing but instability with this person. They've lost so, so much. They feel like being with this karmic, is, is, they're taking a huge loss. But there's a there's an energy of feeling like they're stuck. They're stuck with this person that has this ten of pentacles in reverse energy that's causing this ten of pentacles in reverse energy, this instability. Yeah, this person like <laughs> whoever they're dealing with, whoever is hovering around them, watching their every move. You guys could be dealing with a king of wands energy. This could be a king of wands. Um, Aries energy or this person just, you know, they real sexy or whatever, you know. Yeah, this person may be very easy on the eyes. <sighs> this person may be a leader. They may have like a leadership type of position, you know. Listen, whoever is around this person, they know that this person want to come back to you. Somebody noticed this King of Wands want to come back to you. They want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. And this is why I'm, 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 I'm picking up like a hover type of energy. Someone is hovering around, around this person. Whoever they went towards, they feel stuck with this person. So they could have went back to somebody from their past. You know, this could be someone who they have children with. Or it could have been a situation that was like solely or purely out of I heard greed they could have went back to somebody for greed this person promised them that they were going to take care of them or it was just like a, a money-based marriage or a money-based connection very superficial type of um connection with this person you know there are no cups the only cups that are here are in reverse right so they want to let go of this person and whoever they are whoever they are trying to get away from they know that this person want to let them go it says letting go of the past and focusing on the future growing up and leaving home this person want to leave this situation they want to leave this person who is watching their every move mm. they want to come towards their soulmate they want to this king of wands want to want to go towards true love yeah it's been an ongoing battle between you and this person for a very long time to the point where a lot of you guys just decided to um, let go. You just decided to go your, you know, go separate ways with this person. And, you know, you 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 went into like hermit's energy and started to heal your heart chakra, you know, work on yourself. You feel like you learned a lot of lessons from this person. So a lot of you guys are. You're very guarded. You're very weary of giving this person another opportunity. You know, 
this person also feel like they have to guard and shield themselves and protect themselves from from this person somebody is holding on to this this king of wands energy somebody's holding on to this person i'm hearing this out of greed greed energy but i feel like your person could have went towards them out of greed you know I picked up a greedy energy. So they are, they were, they, they are together out of greed. I feel like originally your person went back to this person for superficial reasons, or they went towards this person for superficial reasons, but this is why, this is why this person has been, you feel like this person has been fighting you off or ignoring you. They have somebody that's like literally hovering over them, watching their every move, making sure that they're not talking to you, even though they know that this person wants to be with you and want to be there with you. It's about money. It is about money. OK, you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. This person could be an earth sign, but it's about security. It's about security. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I just heard bitter. So whoever, whoever this karmic energy is, that's pretty much watching your person like a hawk. They lose sleep. This person is losing sleep. They cannot sleep because they know that this person want to come back to you. They know that this person wants to make some type of, um, escape. I'm hearing escape to come towards you. Yeah. They, they know that this person want to build towards you, want to work with you, want to build something up with you, you know? Some of you guys could work for yourself. You could be an entrepreneur. You could use your hands to make money. You could use your creativity to make money. But you guys are just, you are reaping positive rewards. You're going, you have some very, very beautiful blessings that's coming in your way, okay? If you've been taking, a, taking this time to plant seeds for yourself, and you have been a good little angel, you are going to um, reap positive results. I feel like this situation took a shot at your confidence. If for a little while it did, because it made you feel like, you know, why is my person not returning to me? Why did they leave me out in the cold? Why, they're, why are they not dealing with me? You fed into this person. Why are they not feeding back into you? Yeah, because they got somebody who is watching their every move, trying to make sure that they don't say anything to you. They don't come back towards you. They don't feed into this situation with you. They don't give you nothing. Yeah, yep. this person was about like high status, high standards, high society type of energy. You know, your person kind of come off like they thought they were better than everybody, including you. At one point, this person thought that they were too good. So they did leave you and went towards another situation. Now all they could do is sit back and just watch you and stalk you and just, you know, keep their keep tabs on you energetically, you know, hoping that you guys are not entertaining anybody else. Hoping that you haven't lost feelings for this person. Hoping that you feel the same way that you haven't fallen out of love with them. But this person, they definitely had a choice between you and another person. And they went towards something that was non-traditional, like something that they didn't have to conform to. So this is like giving me um, the vibe that whoever they're dealing with, allow them to sleep with other people. It's not like I'm hearing like open relationship type of energy. So your person could really do whatever they want to do with this person. But listen, it's something about you though. Okay. This karmic energy don't care who this person sleep with as long as they're not dealing with you. As long as they're not dealing with you. This person has been in a hermit's energy spirit. Why are they in a hermit's energy? This talks about soul searching and gaining some type of spiritual um, enlightenment. Look at this. Yeah, they're in hermit because you guys are, you've turned to the queen of cups in reverse with them. You have cut your, your nurturing off. You're no longer nurturing this connection between them anymore. Yeah. This person, like you're not gullible. Like you used to come off kind of gullible dealing with this person. You're not like that no more. You know, and this is causing all kind of mental conflict with this person. The fact that you have set these very strong boundaries with them. The fact that, you know, <laughs> 
you are ignoring them the way that they ignored you. You know, this person regret ignoring you. They regret um, not taking this offer. This person is very frustrated at their circumstances right now that they've got themselves caught up in a situation with someone who... I feel like this person watched their every move, but it's only because they don't want them dealing with, with you. This person may have like been, you know, having... Um, group sex with this karmic energy this is something that they would do together you know but this karmic took quickly or eventually they started to realize eventually they realized that this person's heart was still with you i'm hearing there's something they saw on their phone or i don't know if this person talked in their sleep or you know sometimes women just have women's intuition you know yeah, they knew that this your person was keeping secrets. This King of Wands was keeping secrets. And the secret is that they are in love with you. That they are in love with you still. And the promise of finances are are and I feel like it was a fake. It was it wasn't real. It was a it was a, a letdown because they're coming out that they came out as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That means that it's nothing stable. They're not making the money that they thought they were going to be making. They not, they're not having things the way that they thought they were going to be having, you know. Some of you guys, um, Spirit is telling you that, telling me to tell you, you need to change your eating habits. You need to eat more green, green vegetables, um, drink more water. I don't know who that's for. Some of you guys, somebody needs to get their heart checked out or they need to take fish oil, vitamins. I don't know who that's for. Routine check up to the doctor. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Dreams. So this person is having very, very vivid dreams about you. They're having very vivid dreams about, about you. Like this is all you're all this person could think about. Yeah, listen. Your person got caught up in like a scheme, you know, they got caught up in a scheme. Well, I just heard Ponzi scheme, so I don't know what that means or who that's for, but they got, they got caught up in an image of it all, self-image. You know, they went towards someone who made, they feel like made them look better or they could have more or just went with, you know, what they thought their life should look like, you know, just... Now they're at this crossroad energy, you know, this person is faced with, with a choice, you know, they need to get a move on. And, and this energy, this crossroad energy that this person has been in is putting you and them both in like this waiting game type of energy. A lot of you guys are deciding not to wait anymore because this person has a lot of chaos around them. Like whoever this karmic is, is ready to cause chaos and destroy this person's life, destroy this person's world. If they come towards you, I feel like this person was at the crossroad at, in a crossroad type of energy and they, they went down the wrong path. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Now they want to clean it up. Yeah. They want to clean up what they messed up, you know, by putting you or choosing a third party over you. They want to clean this situation up, you know. They want to be a part of this journey. They, they know that you are a part of their, their purpose here. They know this, you know, you are a part of their purpose, higher power. So most high have contacted this person. Okay. The heavens have contacted this person about their purpose and their, how you play a significant role in their purpose. Hmm. This person's supposed to be here on this spiritual journey with you. Look at this. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, you guys are a star. And listen, this person should have never slept on you with the owl energy. All right. You guys have done the shadow work. And you guys have a lot of people that try to come up against you with this witchcraft and magic type of energy because you are a star. 
You are a star. You are the star. Wish fulfillment and blessings, wealth and fame, becoming quite popular, uh, brand new and hopeful life. Learn. You guys learn hard lessons and people that come up against you, they're going to learn hard lessons, very hard, valuable lessons about coming up against a chosen one, coming up against this, uh, coming up against this star. You, some of you guys may be star seeds or you resonate with being a star seed. And this person is now realizing they never should have slept on you. They slept on this star and that's their fault. <laughs> it is what it is, my dear. All right. Go ahead and give me a few more messages before I wrap this reading up. Mm, mm, mm. Karmic lover, karmic energy. So yeah, uh, they did choose a karmic energy. Yeah. Beauty and the beast. You're the beauty. They are the beast type of energy. So you may be more feminine. They're more masculine. This could be like your divine masculine type of energy. Or this is like in a beauty. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The beauty and the beast story. You guys remember how Belle, um, she was that soft, divine, feminine energy. And how she was, her love was able to heal the beast heart. Her love melted the ice from around the beast heart. You know? Bell was the beast's true love and you are this person's true love. You melted the ice from around this, 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 this person's heart. You, this person don't even want to be a player anymore. They thought that they did. They thought that they were making the right decision, that they were doing what was best for them when they went towards this karmic, but they, they found out that they didn't, they fell in love with you, but they didn't realize this until after they walked away. Look, your energy is extremely powerful. Yeah. You melted the heart from around the beast's heart. You melted the ice from around the beast's heart. You did that. Your love, your unconditional, genuine, divine love did this. And see, the universe is working with me. I just said this person, they are receiving downloads and messages about you and this connection and y'all purpose together from most high, you know? And I will wait for you. So this person, they're going to energetically, they're not going to let you go. They're not speaking to you now. You guys are may not even be in communication right now because they have to slay this dragon first. But when this person slay this dragon, they're, they're, this person is returning to you. You guys are a real high priestess energy, real high priestess. So for this card to say real, that means that there are some fakes out there. So just be weary, you know, but Listen, this person is coming back. King vibes there. This king is coming back to give you their heart. I really feel like you guys are dealing with an emperor. You know, maybe they were king of wands energy back in the day when you met them, but they are transforming into an emperor energy. Yeah. You guys are being divinely protected from anyone that's trying to come up against you. Yeah. You, you guys have divine protection. What is this spirit? Yeah. Wow. Cause look what came out right behind that. Doing or paying for spell work to make you come back. What? Make you come back. Oh my God. For some of you guys, this person has been paying for spell work. Oh my God. Or no, no. Maybe, maybe they have, but spirit is telling me something else. Spirit saying, you give me, you, you jump in the gun, Misty. You got to wait on us. <sighs> Let me say this. For some of you guys, this person has been paying for spare work because they want you to return to them. Like they're trying to manifest you back. But for others of you guys, it's this karmic energy, okay? Who's paying for spell work. So to keep this masculine from leaving them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, but listen, there's divine intervention here. So it's not gonna work. This person is still gonna break free. What is this? <sighs> Past life karmic causing current life interruption. So this is somebody, this is a karmic from a previous reincarnation that reincarnated into this timeline with you guys to try to stop you guys from having a physical union and to actually throw you guys off of y'all path and y'all mission together. I never met anyone like you before in my life. No, they haven't. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Power couple. So you guys are power couples. 
And listen, I never thought my bad deeds would catch up with me. So this person, they did, they, they, they did you dirty initially. Yes, they did. But this person went through some type of an awakening after the bad deeds were done. And this person had to pay karma for that. And I do feel like whoever this karmic energy is, they're teaching them a very valuable lesson. They are. And this person, they're going to come back and you guys are going to have the, the, the money, the love, the power, the success together. This is a part of. This is a part of the purpose of you and this person being together. You guys are supposed to show the world true love, power couple status. You guys are supposed to do passion projects together for humanity, right? Um, projects together, um, just ooze divine couple type of vibe energy. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this reading just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. If you have not subscribed to our prosperous, abundant and protected channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. So that when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. Peace.